We have a state of emergency in New York, all right. It's called One Party Democrat. What on earth did Andrew Cuomo think would happen when he let all the dangerous criminals back into the streets? The public safety crisis we are facing is a direct result of Democrat policies that have been focused on handcuffing police and not criminals. Our law enforcement has been villainized. Police budgets have been gutted, including more than $1 billion from the NYPD alone. Our brave heroes are retiring the force in record numbers. Simultaneously, Democrats gave the biggest gift to criminals by eliminating cash bail. Every criminal in New York knows that they have free reign on our streets, and they'll walk right out the door of a police station with a desk appearance ticket that they never will show up for. Andrew Cuomo's parole board has let dozens of cop killers, rapists, and murderers out of prison. Just today, we read about the release of a sex fiend who murdered a 16-year-old girl in Rockland County. This isn't about gun laws. New York has thousands of gun laws on the books. New York and Chicago have the strictest gun laws in the nation. What else do they have in common? Liberal, wrong-headed leadership who refuse to enforce law and order. The criminals shooting up toddlers in Times Square, they don't give a rat's ass about laws. To add insult to injury, our corrupt and scandal-ridden Governor Andrew Cuomo is using this crisis as a propaganda tool to distract New Yorkers from his culpability in creating this crisis and his pile of scandals. So don't be fooled. He hailed bail reform as one of his signature achievements. Andrew Cuomo stood in front of TV cameras last summer, and he blamed the NYPD for the violence and the riots in the streets. How dare Andrew Cuomo try to sweep in and act like a savior when he is the one with blood on his hands of all of these innocent New Yorkers. The only way we are going to get this scourge of violence under control and out of our streets is to throw out the Democrats and the leftists and the liberals who created this nightmare in the first place, starting with Andrew Cuomo. Repeal, bail, and discovery reform now.